Welcome back to Wildfire TV. Today we have a colossal stone crab claw. This thing weighs about one pound. It is huge. So today we're going to prepare this, show you guys how to cook it. Did you know that there's actually 850 species of crab? And there's 4,400 varieties of crab. Five most common types of crab are Dungeness crab, stone crab, snow crab, king crab, and blue crab. Today we're going to be doing stone crab claws. Stone crab claws actually come pre-cooked via Florida law. And these particular stone crab claws came from keylargofisheries.com. Check them out. There are three different ways to thaw your stone crab. <clears throat> you can run cool water over the claws until the black tip of the claw can be moved with little resistance. Or you can thaw them in the fridge, allowing 12 to 18 hours for them to completely thaw. The company that we got them from recommends saltwater thawing brine, which is a solution of salt water, which is actually a half cup of salt to one gallon of water. Kind of cool, I've never heard of that. And you keep that solution in the fridge overnight and or on ice if you don't have a fridge for the freshest taste. But we did method number one. So cooking instructions on stone crab claws, we're actually not going to steam, but if you wanted to steam them, it would be basically two cups of water, bring the bowl and insert the crab cover and let it steam for 10 minutes or longer if the crab is larger. Today we're actually going to boil the crab in a Dutch oven outside with some oak coal. Uh, we're going to bring the water to a rolling bowl, add the claws and the water will stop boiling. We're going to bring the water back to a bowl and we're going to reduce the heat and allow it to simmer for 10 minutes. And then we should be good to go. got done cooking these colossal crab claws. Stone crab. Now I think the hardest part is going to be trying to get into this thing. Good thing I got a hammer. Good. That is why they call it stone crab. Yeah, stone crab. That was everything I thought it was gonna be. I'm gonna try some of this um, sauce that we made. That's pretty good too. Now I don't think you're gonna fill up on stone crab, 
but it's definitely that thing that you cook on occasion for special occasions, you know. So I'm also going to try some butter real quick, just to see how that is. Oh, a lot of people use butter with you know, crab claws and legs. and. Really good, y'all. Again, uh, kegelargofisheries.com for stone crab claws. This is about $60 a pound. So like I said, it's not something that you're going <laughs> to cook every night for dinner. And it's probably not going to fill you up at that rate. But um, if you enjoyed this video, how to cook colossal stone crab claws, make sure to subscribe. Hit the bell button, leave a comment if there's something you want to see in the future. We will drop the description for the sauce, how to make that, down in the description of the video. Anyways, enjoyed it. Uh, love y'all. See you in the next wildfire video.